Hi, this is Joseph. It is Tuesday, May 19th, 2015. We're going to review some of the trades we executed with the Trade Copier service today. We're currently looking at the Euro dollar. This is the one hour time frame. And this is what I call the continuation breakout trade. So if you're watching some of the videos on the website, you're probably already aware that I execute a couple of different techniques that allow me to trade in different market environments. The first one is the HL30 that allows me to trade inside of consolidation where I would trade off of the previous day's high or low. And then the next trade is a continuation, well I call it the continuation breakout trade. And what that means is that I need to identify a range of consolidation and then wait for a one hour candle to close outside of that range. And then I make sure, first of all, that it confirms with three forms of indicator confirmation that I use. Once I get all of that indicator confirmation, I then wait for the appropriate entry and then trade it to approximately a 55 pip target. So that's exactly what we did here in the euro dollar. But you'll notice here on the euro dollar, this actually set up yesterday during the Asian session. So it's every once in a while I get a signal that might set up during the Asian session and it's fine. It's OK. I mean, even if it is on the euro dollar, it's still going to work just like this, because usually in most cases, when we trade breakouts, it's either the result or as after the, the results are given to a particular economic data report, or in some cases, it could be just that we're trading the trend that develops before the news is released, which could be the expectation. It could be sentiment, whatever the case is, or maybe there are some rumors. And that's exactly what we traded here. But you'll notice if you were trading during the London session, how strong this one hour candle is. Now this is as a result of some of the comments that were being released through some of the officials from the Eurozone and they were talking about uh, the uh, QE for the Eurozone and or additional uh, stimulus program and this was also before the actual economic data that was scheduled on the calendar. So we had again all of this sentiment, all of this decision, there was a lot of speculation before the, the uh, statements were released and the economic data was released and this all started to take place during the Asian session and you saw a lot of positioning and a lot of orders where we saw a lot of sell orders here long before again we've got one two three probably 10 or 11 candles before it actually dropped and then reached that target and it went a lot further the other trade that we executed was here on the dollar yen I'm sorry the pound dollar the pound dollar was pretty much the same thing. Another continuation breakout trade to the downside, and then it moved approximately 55 pips as well. Uh, now, at this point, it does look like it's sort of settled, and it looks like it might start going sideways and possibly retrace a little bit higher. So now we have a new range of consolidation. Remember, these are breakout trades. This is called the continuation breakout trade. So is the euro dollar. That's what we really traded today. We really didn't trade any reversals or uh, HL 30s because it was really obvious that the trends were going to resume in the direction of the breakouts. So at this point, we've got a high here on the pound dollar at approximately 1.5533 and that low down there at 1.5440. That's almost a 100 pip range. That's like 90 pips or so. And that will allow us to trade a possible continuation breakout trade if a one hour candle closes above that spike high. Again, I'm not saying to buy it the minute you see a candle close above that spike high on the one hour chart because you do need to confirm it with the three forms of indicator confirmation that we use. If everything lines up okay, it's possible that this might bounce at this level and then continue back up. There was expected, or for the most part, it's expected that there's going to be some sort of recovery or some kind of relief bounce here to the to the upside on the pound, uh, which could have an impact on the pound yen, uh, you know, the pound uh, Australian currency pair. If you trade some of those exotic pairs, whatever the case is, look for the possibility of trading a possible continuation trade to the upside. Again, I can't say if it's going to work without actually being there with you to confirm it. But if it does confirm with all three forms of indicator confirmation, I will be executing the trade along with my subscribers. So it was another great, fantastic trading day. Lots of money to be made. We expect that the rest of the week is going to be like this. Obviously, we're probably going to see more uh, continuation breakout trades this week than HL30s. HL30s, we generally earn about 20 pips per trade. On the continuation breakout trade, when we traded on the majors, we're earning approximately 55 pips. So good luck trading tomorrow, and I'll do another update about this same time tomorrow.
If you like this video and you want to get more information about these trading strategies, please click the subscribe button so that you can get instant notification when I put up a brand new video tutorial. Or you can visit my website right now by clicking the visit my website button and I have some free trading manuals for you and extra video lessons with some special discount offers to use my Forex signal service that will automatically execute all of these trades for you onto your MT4 account.